fun show second session so you know how this show works remember my name is Manolita and I'm presenting this show these two sessions so <clears throat> are you ready for today's challenges we have lots 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 of different challenges yes you have to add the points from the other show yes so you put them together with today's and you will have the total of the points okay is it clear so the points of the other day with the points of this day yes and you are you can add them yes you can sum the points and then you count the total of the points and you can send it to the email so that we can see who is the winner of the show and have you taken the pictures with the illnesses like nosebleed fever all these things remember you still have time until sunday to send the pictures to the email okay info at um, englishfan.com yes that's the email so very important yes remember to do these things the photos sending the email counting the total of the points today's points and the other days points and enjoying a lot yes super important so for today i'm going to take the famous papers and we are going to see what is the first challenge let's see let's see you see that we have a lot of challenges a lot but we are not doing all of them okay good so today's challenge today first challenge is good the books challenge the book yes do you know what a book is to read so the books challenge what is this challenge about i'm manolita i'm going to read a book yes you will see the book yes i'm going to read the book and you're going to see the letters and the pictures okay the photos of the book and you have to find names of animals yes so all the animals in a list mm, dog cat horse cow yes you put animals and all the names after this plants plants or flowers okay if you find maybe not plants or flowers so if i see mm, a rose a sunflower a blah, 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 a tulip a blah, blah, yes so all the names of the flowers that appear in the book and animals and food okay things you can eat so imagine vegetables fruit yes all these things so you put animals blah 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 blah, blah, blah. flowers and plants blah blah blah, blah 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 and food blah blah blah, blah 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 yes and then you will see the correct option yes so you have one point as always one point per correct answer ready let's go So now we're going to read a book and you have to identify, yes, um, the names of food, animals and plants. And then you will have to classify it. So you have three columns, plants, animals and food. And you have to classify each name in the different columns. Yes. So I'm going to start. The book is called which is the color of a kiss. My name is Monica, but everybody calls me Mini Moni. When I go by bike, I am faster than the wind. I like swallows 
little cakes of strawberry cream and listen to the stories that my mother tells. At home, I am the one in charge of the little plants of the balcony because I like to garden them and tell them nice things so that they grow faster. However, of all the things, what I like more in the world is to paint. With my colors, I paint millions of things. I can paint red ladybirds, blue skies, and yellow bananas. Even I have drawn rockets, penguins and gorillas. But I have never painted a kiss. Hmm, which is the color of a kiss? Hmm. I could paint it red as the spaghetti sauce. Mmm, definitely no. Red is the color of angriness and you don't, you don't give a kiss when you are angry. Mmm, green. I like the color of the crocodiles. They are so friendly. But ooh, I don't like vegetables. And vegetables are green. Mm, neither the broccoli, cards, or peas. Well, the artichoke, a little bit. Hmm, yellow. I love the color of sunflowers. And the good ideas. Because the good ideas are yellow, no? But even though the kisses are sweet as honey. But I do not like bees. Mm, and if I paint it brown, the kisses are sweet too, as the chocolate and magic as the forest in autumn. But uh -oh. <gasps> white as the snow, brighten as the stars and the moon. But <sighs> kisses are warm and the snow is so cold. And pink kisses? Delicious as my favorite little cakes. No way! I can't stand fairies and princesses. Mm -mm. <sighs> Mini Money is confused. Mom, do you know which is the color of a kiss? Excellent! How was it? Was it good or bad? I hope it was good. So, for now we're going to do another challenge, yes, so different challenge that we will see now with the papers. Um, yes, so we're going to see now the, the challenge, okay? Let's take the papers. <laughs> I'm going to throw them like
I like the other day, like choo. And today with one hand, okay, this one. Oops, I'm taking them from the floor. Okay, this one. Good, my favorite. Guess the word, yes? We've done this already, so we did this the other day, this. Okay, do you remember? So letter A, um, the person that is playing the guessing the word. Oh man, oh yes, you, woo. Okay, so with all the letters, you will have the definitions and you have to guess the vocabulary, the word. Okay, very important. Yes, wait, that goes like this. So we're playing this again with general vocabulary. Remember, general vocabulary. Okay? Good luck! Okay, second time. Are you ready? Let's go. A. A living organism. Z. Action to do when you want to travel by bus. Action to do when you want to travel by bus. D. Animal that lives in the sea. E. When your ear hurts. F. Illness similar to coronavirus. G. Animal with a very long neck. H. Task the teacher sent from the school. Task the teacher sent from the school. L. Place where you go to hide books. Place where you go to hide books. M. Animals similar to humans. P. When you go to have a snack on the nature. S. Place where you go to learn. T. Animal that lives in the jungle. R. A color. U. When you take your clothes, your clothes off, you are W. Furniture where you keep your clothes. Furniture where you keep your clothes. E. Huge bird. Hey, sport in which you wear a kimono. Sport in which you wear a kimono. When a couple has a baby and it's a boy, it's their... When a couple has a baby and it's a boy, it's their... T. When your teeth hurt. Hello! Did you like the book? I love this book. It's one of my favorites. So was it easy or was it very difficult? I think, I think it was easy, no? Good. So next challenge. Yes, remember to count the points, okay? Very important. And if not, you repeat it. Yes, you can stop the video if you are not seeing it indirect okay so ready for the next challenge papers 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 let's see what are we going to do now we are playing a Kahoot. Yes? Do you all know what a Kahoot is? 
of course, obviously, Kahoot is a game to play, to compete, yes, it's a competition um, to play with a lot of people, okay? But at this moment, we cannot play with a lot of people. So, Manolita, me, I'm going to be the only player, okay? But you write your points if you select the correct option. So one point per correct option. Yes, all the time one point. Okay, so very important. Okay, you will see the question and you will have 10, 15 seconds, more or less, to answer. Okay, so you answer and then you will see the solution. If the solution is correct, one point for you. If it's not correct, no point. Okay, and you count them. Okay, I think there are 20, 15 questions, more or less. Okay, good. Enjoy the game. Okay, so now we are going to play the Kahoot. I suppose that you all know the, the functioning in that case. It's just me playing, so third of primary here, and you write on your paper the correct options. Yes, yeah? so if it's correct, if the sentence is correct, you put a point to yourself. Yes? Okay? Are you ready? Yeah! Good. So she likes to the cinema. She likes going to the cinema. Going to the cinema goes where to going. So she likes going to the cinema. Yes. So point for the ones that have uh, chosen this option, okay? So, she likes going to the cinema. Next one. A lot of points. I are 56 years old. I is, I am. Never I have 56 years old. Always I am. I am 12, I am 13, I am 100 years old. Yes, but I am. Ooh, okay, a lot of points for us. You present simple. So you play football very well. You play football very well. Yes, with you. We are on fire. Number four, Mary, blah blah blah, to the gym every Sunday. This is also present simple. So Mary goes, Mary goes, Mary is or Mary going. What do you think? The fifth question. She blah 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 maths at this moment. So remember from the other show. Yes, what do we use 
at the moment, now, while I'm speaking. So remember, I'm at this moment, yes? Present continuous. Okay, a lot of points. Question six. Sue, blah, blah, blah adventure, reads. Read, like, reads, or read. Present simple. important. Okay, she, she's writing a letter right now. She are she writing a letter right now. She writes a letter right now or she writes a letter right now. What do you think? at the moment of speaking. Good. Remember to count your points. My mom, she, my mom are buying, my mom is buying, my mom buying or my mom buys. Yes, so it's a process, it's happening now, at the moment we are speaking. Matthew and Lisa working, work, works or is together in a big company. What do you think? together in a big company yes they always work together so it's a routine present simple the wife of my brother is my remember the wife of my brother is my My grandparents are my and my, so my grandparents are my mom and my dad. My grandparents are my grandfather and my grandmother. My grandparents are my brother and my sister, or my grandparents are my grandsister and grandbrother. Very easy. So, excellent. In a married couple, there are the wife and husband, sister and brother, son and daughter, or aunt and uncle. What do you think? So, in a married couple, remember first. So, we have the wife, that is the girl, and the husband, that is the boy in the case they are boy and girl. Okay, let's continue. So what is this? Ma 
macaroni, ice cream, sugar, or rice. Super, super, super easy. So, rice. rice. What is this? What is this? A dress, a pario, a skirt, or a t-shirt. This is also super, super easy. It's a dress. What is this? And the last one, what is this? Pack, wash, walk, or pool? What is this? Pack your back, wash your back, you pull your back. Your back. You pack your bag or you pack your luggage. Very well, Manuel. Okay. Oh, my microphone. I forgot this. So, how was the challenge? Did you like it? Good. So, now we're going to see another challenge. Yes, you know that. <laughs> so, what do we have to do now? Taking a paper, yes? I'm going to take a paper from those here. Um, paper. Good. Okay. Prepositions challenge. Prepositions challenge. So, we've been practicing the prepositions in the unit Seven, I think. Yes, unit seven. And we have the flashcards with the prepositions. So in this challenge, you're going to have um, a description of a room. Okay? Of a room. So I'm going to say we, for example, the sofa is next to um, the chair or the desk, okay, or there is a plant on the table, okay, so all these things. I'm going to make a description of a room, so very important, you need the paper and you need the pen to draw, yes, to draw all, all that I say, all my indications, okay, so you draw what I'm saying, okay, but first of all, we need to review all the prepositions that we have. Do you remember the dog is blah, blah, blah. Very important. I want you to say the dog is between blah, blah, blah and blah, blah, blah. Okay. So mm, the ball is under the table. No, under, no. Between, mm -mm. no, no. So you say the dog is, no, 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 boom. Okay, so that is the revision we're going to do, okay? And then the challenge so that you can get a lot of points. Ready? So, here I have all the flashcards. So, where is the dock? So, the dock is outside. Yes, you can say outside the house or outside and finish. Yes, the dock is outside. Good. Where is the dock? The dock is on, yes, on top of, on the sofa. 
the dog is on the sofa. Good. Where is the dog? The dog is between, between the chair and the table. Yes, the dog is between the chair and the table. Where is the dog? The dog is next to the sink, next to the sink. Where is the dog? The dog is in front of, yes, so the flashcard is in front of Andrea Manolita. Yes, <laughs> in front of Manolita, yes, and the dog is in front of the tree, okay, in front of the tree. Good. Where is the dog? The dog is in, yes, inside, in the washing machine. In the washing machine. Good. Where is the dog? So the dog is under, yes, under the table. The dog is under the table. Okay, excellent. Where is the dog? Remember, this is like this, yes? So on the back. Okay, so where is the dog? The dog is behind, yes, the dog is behind the car, behind the car. Where is the dog? The dog is beside, next to, beside, yes, the bus. The dog is beside the bus, yes, beside, beside, okay? And the last one, where is the dog? So the dog is inside, yes, inside in the back. Yes, in the plastic bag, okay, inside. Good, so with all these prepositions, we're going to do our challenge, yes, which is about a room, yes, so empty, you do like a square, you do like this on the paper, and then you draw the different things that I'm going to say and we will compare my map and your map and let's see what is correct. For each thing that is similar in one and the other, you will get a point. Easy peasy. Okay, so very important, you draw my instructions, okay? Good! Okay, so you need one paper like this, one sheet of paper, yes, and you can make this, you can use this square, okay, with this it's enough, okay, so we start. There is a table, a table in the middle, in the middle of the photo or of the room. Yes, in the middle. Okay. There is a book on the table. There is a book on the table. There is a book on 
the table. Yes? There is a chair, a chair next to the table. There is a chair next to the table. Good. Are you drawing? Yes? Okay. There is or there are there are some flowers yes on the table. There are some flowers on the table. There are some flowers on the table. So we have the book on the table and the flowers on the table. Okay? On and on. Good. There is a ball, a ball under the table. There is a ball under the table. There is a ball under the table. How are you doing? Good. There is a carpet, yes, a carpet, important, in front of the table, in front of the table, on the floor, obviously, yes, a carpet. So you put it like there, a carpet. So a carpet in front of the table, or in front of the ball, you choose, um, on the floor, yes, on the ground, on the floor, okay. <clears throat> Good. The table, yes, the table is between the chair and the sofa. So the table is between the chair and the sofa. Okay, between the chair and the sofa. The table is between the chair and the sofa. Good. There is a clock, yes, tick tack, tick tack, tick tack. A clock on the wall, on the wall, yes, like here, on the wall. Yes, there is a clock on the wall. There is a clock on the wall. Yes, you can make a circle. Yes, good. There is, important, there is a lamp, yes, a lamp with the light, Bing. yes, a lamp between the flowers and the book. So, on, on the table, on the table, between the flowers and the book. On the table, between the flowers and the book. And the last one to finish, there is a cat, yes, meow, 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 okay, a cat next to the sofa, next to the sofa, so there is a cat next to the sofa. Yes, so now we're going to see the solution yes and one point per object per object that is correct so one point for the cat one point for the sofa one point for the carpet 
one point for the flowers, for the lamp, the book, the ball, the table, the chair and the clock. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Yes, so the total is ten, ten points. Okay? Hello, microphone. So, how was the challenge? Was it good? Did you like it? Good. So, dun, 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 dun. next challenge. I think you will like this one. So, papers, papers, paper, paper. Papers, lot of papers, lot of papers. This one. <laughs> the animals challenge. Yes, the wild, wild. Wild animals challenge. So it's not farm animals like the cow, the horse, the pig. Yes, no, the wild. Yes, do you understand wild? So they are a bit dangerous. Yes, yes, a bit. Good. So, first of all, we're going to do the review of the animals, okay? So we need to see the vocabulary that we are going to practice, okay? So I'm showing you the animals. First animal. What is this? Good, an elephant. Very easy. What is this? A rhino. A rhino. Yes, very dangerous with this horn. Very dangerous. They are huge. Very, very big. Oh! What is this? Baby. Baby, 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 shark. Yes, so this is a shark. Yes, it lives in the sea. Yes, in the sea. Okay, so shark. Shark. What is this? A bear. Yes, a bear with a lot of fur. A bear. Oh, very, very wild animal. <sighs> a lion, yes, a lion. Good, a lion. What about this? <laughs> Very easy, a monkey, yes, a monkey. It's holding his tail, yes, this is the tail. This part is the tail, yes? Penguin, the penguin. Good. So it's a bird, bird, but it cannot fly. Yes, it cannot fly. What is this? Very long neck. <laughs> Very long neck. The giraffe. Not giraffe, not giraffe. Yes, giraffe. 
Giraffe. Okay? Giraffe. What about this? Ooh. This is a panda. A panda. Ooh, this. Octopus. Octopus. Yes? With a lot of arms. I think it's eight or nine, no? Eight or nine arms. And it lives in the sea also. What is this? With these lines, it's striped. Striped. The zebra. Excellent, the zebra. Hmm. They hold the trees on the trees and they are sleeping. Hmm. A koala, a koala, excellent. And this jumping. And they have a bag here to carry their babies. Hmm, babies. To carry their babies. What is this? A kangaroo, excellent, a kangaroo. Oh, very strong, very, very wild. The tiger, the tiger. Oh, here we have two. So this, remember the superhero, the superhero, Batman. So this is a bat. Yes, this is a bat. And this, my favorite. That lives in the sea. It's a dolphin. Yes, a dolphin. And this one, very fat. Very fat. A walrus, excellent, a walrus, very good. So these are all the animals from the vocabulary of wild animals, okay? So what are we going to do in the challenge? I'm going, so Manolita is going to do some mimics, yes? So I'm going to mime the different animals and you have to guess Yes, which is the animal that I'm doing. Okay, easy peasy, one point per correct guessing. Okay, so we start with the mimics of all the animals from the vocabulary. Okay, so it's just this list of animals. Okay. <laughs> this, what is this? Wait, wait. I don't know. This giraffe, good, a giraffe. Another one, more animals. Mm, okay, this. Mm. 
a zebra. A zebra. Okay, that one was difficult. A zebra. Oh, okay. Mm. These things. And this. Mm. Yes, in Australia. Koala. Good. A koala. This. Kangaroo, excellent, a kangaroo. This, remember the photo. The Excellent. More animals. Oof. Um. Very fat. Ah, you don't remember the name? A walrus, a walrus, good, very big, very fat, good, <laughs> ah, very easy, what is this, so, mm, <laughs> elephant, good, okay, Yes, <laughs> with this very big Reno. Yes, a Reno. Now, mm. Yes, a shark, shark, yes, mm, this, yes, a bat, a bat, here it is. A bat, okay, sleeps on the roof, yes, but this, <laughs> what is it? A dolphin. Dolphin, yeah, a dolphin. That was a very mean, but the sea animals are very difficult. Okay, this. Mm. Yes, it's with that ears, color brown. A bear, a bear. Yes, a bear. Next one. Okay, very easy. Yes, 
with this like this lion yes the lion ah i like this one idea penguin the penguin and finish so these are all the animals from the vocabulary you can practice also with your family if you want to practice mimic smiling yes and you can see all the animals and more because you know more animals than this so it can be farm animals sea animals Mm, air animals, yes, like birds, insects, there are a lot, lot, lot of animals, okay, so you can practice. Okay, how was the last challenge? Did you like it? Did you enjoy? Am I a good actor or not? Yes, I am. It's a very few space, but it's okay. So, I. Here I have. So, super, 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 super important. Count all your points, yes, and send it to the email, okay? Info arroba englishfun.com, yes? Okay? So, this is the email where you can send, if you want, the points, and then we can do a ranking, and you can see what is your position. Um, of all this show, yes, because we started with the points in the other uh, class or in the other show and we are finishing today with them. So, if you want, you can send your points, your pictures, your comments, if you want to say, mm, the class was super boring, I didn't like it, or oh, I like the class, so mm, Andrea, you can use some activities for the normal classes, yes, the online classes that we have next week, okay? So you can send all that you want, okay? Very important that you say your opinion. Good. What did we do today? Yes, during the show. Yes, so we started with the book, yes, which is the color of a kiss. And there you have to look, yes, you have to search the vocabulary from plants and flowers, food and animals. Yes, there was quite a lot of vocabulary. I like the book and it was it was easy. I think that you have all the points from this activity, yes? And you reviewed uh, the vocabulary and you listened to uh, English, yes? Because you were, I was reading the book, okay? Good. Then we played the guess the word, which I like a lot. So, um, you were practicing also here all the vocabulary from the unit, yes? Um, it was different vocabulary, different from the other guess the word, but it, it's, just, it's a very short activity, so we could do it two times, okay? Um, then we played the Kahoot, that probably here the points hmm, in some questions they were a bit difficult, but I don't know. Maybe you also have all the points. We will see. Yes, and then we played with the prepositions, yes, with the map. Yes, so here you had to draw the different objects of the room. Yes, and I was describing the room. So I think that this activity was also very nice, very nice because you could compare. Hmm. I put this different, this there. You can see the class again if you want someday 
or with somebody of your family to practice or to compete and see who has more points yes and then we did i did the the mimics yes with the wild animals that was unit seven the last topic yes so that is the end of the show i hope that you liked it and you learned a lot a lot a lot a lot and from the ones that are from my class i'll see you on monday yes very important remember monday zoom okay so thank you so much and see you enjoy a lot of the vacations